And so um, I thought, is there a way that we can create an eco-friendly alternative that provides obviously the sensation that people are seeking, but um, without the kind of environmental damage. I think there's absolutely a responsibility on businesses to have sustainable practices and to you know be thinking about that through every single part of their decision making. And I guess in a perfect world with everyone having the right intentions that would work but you see you know greenwashing is literally a word that's been invented to talk about the problem with that type of behaviour. It's so confusing these days you know to try and actually figure out what is sustainable what's not sustainable. Hello and welcome to season two of Conversations on Climate, the podcast series which has been developed in partnership with the London Business School's Alumni Energy Club, which have been leading a series of conversations with experts from around the world exploring the biggest challenge of our time, climate change. Now, a lot of people don't want to talk about climate. It's all too big, too scary, and too existential. If you want to get in the climate industry and you're a potential founder with an idea, how do you compete with the big incumbents? How do you brand and market a new business so it gets the right sort of attention? Every form of These are some of the questions we dealt with today in an excellent conversation with the co-founders of WIPE, George Del Gortana and Ellie Krapko. WIPE is a two years young startup turning over a million a year, producing an environmentally friendly alternative to wet wipes. Georgie and Ellie are turning heads in the media. In addition to Dragon's Den, WIPE is featured in The Economist, The Daily Mail, The Sun and The Evening Standard. Co-founders and life partners Georgia and Ellie met on the MBA program at London Business School. Georgia is former head of product development of Versace Jeans and a graduate of the world famous Fashion Institute of Technology whose alumni include Calvin Klein and Michael Kors. Ellie spent 10 years in the New Zealand Air Force serving in Afghanistan and then training the next generation of Air Force pilots. These two intriguing individuals who've taken the explicit decision to be open, honest and taboo busting. It's a conversation that you just won't want to miss. In the meantime, please subscribe on your app of choice and keep up with our new releases. I do hope that you enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoyed making them.